Crown of Steel was released in 2013 and is directed by Legend of the Guardians director Zack Snyder. Basically the story is you have a young baby born in Krypton who is Clark Kent who gets sent to planet Earth because General Zod is terrorizing the place. He gets sent to planet Earth and he becomes Superman, meets up with Lu Louis Lane and loads of people and he has to save the world. Now guys I'm gonna be honest I'm not really a fan of DC. I'm just, I just don't find them interesting. I just I prefer Marvel, I prefer Spider Man and all that. I just think they're much better and just more interesting. A friend of mine, Harry Thomas Pictures, uh, who I actually requested to check out Ninjago, the T V show, and he's he's actually gonna review it very soon, so that'll be exciting. He wants me to review this franchise, so you know what? Let's give it a shot and see what it's like and it's the first one in and released back in twenty thirteen and it's it's all right. It's actually not that bad. The first half is very slow for me. Now I know I haven't really read a comic or anything, but the first half for me, it's very slow. It very dragged out, and it starts off really weird, and it just doesn't. It feels slow. I do like seeing the main character as a young kid, and that is quite good. The middle is where it gets to the build up to the final battle but the story itself is just the problem is it's really really dragged the fight scenes are well choreographed there's actually some good character build up and i do like the visual effects my only problem now i really like the final battle but my only problem is it has way too much cg to it which reminds me a lot of the black panther and spider-man 3 final fight scenes the characters clark kent um <sighs> he's all right he kind of reminds me a little bit of Peter Parker, and then there's Louis Wayne, who reminds me a lot of Mary Jane Watson, and yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, they look alike, so, so there. General Zod, I actually really like this villain, he is very intimidating, in fact, I like the actor, I like the acting skills, and I like his fighting skills, and he, overall, he's actually a very good villain, and very threatening as well. Music is also pretty good, not really much to say about music in my reviews these days. Yeah, and um, this movie... That's all right for what it was. It's enjoyable, I guess. Third act is very good, and I do like the ending. And it's it's it, it's fine. It's got some enjoyable to it. I am going to give Man of Steel a six point five out of ten. You guys want to review the next DCU movie, Batman v Superman? Until then, skadoosh.